morning. Some time ago I threw out the suggestion to uh, regular posters of my channel that they could send me a video, an interesting video about where they live. And uh, my good YouTube friend Sean, living on South Vancouver Island, British Columbia, has risen to the channel challenge and he sent me an amazing uh, walk around uh, video uh, via WhatsApp. I give him my number and this is five and a half minutes long and, and it came through no problem and uh, it's brilliant we're getting an insight into how other people live around the world and um, this is uh, remarkable footage from his back garden and not only does he get one variety of hummingbird coming in he gets two varieties you know beat that northern ireland <laughs> i don't think so well we did get the hummingbird hawk moth but uh thank thank you thank you thank you thank you sean for uh for doing this um and it's all about connection and fun and all the rest of it. So uh, I'll throw that out uh, to anybody else. And uh, we might be expecting more from Sean. Um, uh, and this is just a phone camera and, and uh, that's, it works very, very well. So thank you, Sean. This is, this is splendid. Hello there, Tom. What about you, boy? Look at that. I got the hummingbird, especially for you. I'm just sitting in my garden here because the hummingbirds have been busy here today. Let's see how close I can get to this for you. They are amazing. We get, like I told you in the, the email, we get two types here: the rufus and the anise. This is the anise. The rufus are um, a much redder head on them. Ah, he's gone. Anyhow, I'll give you a quick look at the garden here. This is just a little water feature I built a couple of years ago there in a, a glory hole shed and there's a, a hop and it's a bit noisy back here we don't sit back here much we sit in the front because it's, it's much quieter uh, the, the garden is twice the size that hedge divides it and then the road is the, the other side it's all grass but, uh, just walk you around here i won't do too long because it'll take up too much time I'm not sure how much I can send on a on a on a, um, a WhatsApp. Oh, here's the spuds. Well, there's a blue dragonfly. Do you see him? Uh, I don't know if you got that going around. But here's here's our spuds. Some of them are the the pink flower, and some of them are the white flower. More spuds here, lots of leaf. So hopefully there'll be a lot. Um, just a bunch of fruit here on the apple trees. Some apples on this one. Um, they're actually doing quite well. More spuds, carrots, and something you never see here are the, the, the beans. They don't, they don't grow these ones here. They do the French beans, you know, the runner beans, but they don't do the broad beans. And a couple of old tomatoes ripening pretty good here. And then roses and snapdragons, poppies of the gone to seed. And my apples here, these ones are turning red. So these will be quite nice. And this is where I have a, a bunch of stuff. Red hot pokers. I live in a, a townhouse complex. It's actually very nice. Um, it's got this sort of park in the middle. There's 19 homes in here. You can sort of see it. They're weird looking places. Some of them are detached and some of them are semi-detached. I'm in a semi-detached one. But they are, they're very nice. They got this sort of park parkland in the middle. And this is the one I live in here. So that's the front of it there, where that yellow chair is at the front door and then it comes down and there's a carport here so I can 
camper van in which I'm just about to sell, which I've worked on for the last year. And then this is where I did all the work on the bikes. I had five bikes in here doing all the work. So I was really into the bikes. Uh, I was into car I'm mean, into cars too. I used to race cars professionally. That's an E-type that I had and that was me in my mini days. That was me racing a Ford Escort. And that was a beautiful Ferrari Dino I had, which I wish I'd have kept. And yeah, all I desire, Joey. Uh, Joey Dunlop. Uh, Linda sent me this, um, Joey's widow. Uh, she sent me this last year in Dawn of the Daughter. So that was kind of nice to get that in the mail. There were some, some Joey stickers as well that they sent. They, they only brought them out for a special event thing they did. Oh, this is, I got this from Mario Andretti. Uh, it was one of his last years of actually racing Indy cars. It's actually signed. You can see it there. It's That was nice. Uh, I had a friend who was, who was head of Cosworth in North America. You probably know the name Cosworth. Well, they, they looked after the Andretti car and, and the Newman Haas car. And so I got to team passes all the time. But there's a quick look to where I live anyhow. And we'll send you more stuff. But it's a beautiful spot. And I'll try and get some really good stuff on the, on the hummingbirds. I should have some somewhere. They're not very plentiful at the moment. I think it's just too hot for them. And they seem to, they sort of go quiet. But if, if I get more, I will certainly send it to you. It's great to be connected. I, re, I really enjoy your videos. I really do. I, you, it, I, I just love anything from Ireland. Oh, I have to show you these. I, I forget what they call these. They're, they, they're from Peru. And they're, they're, they're like the um, Montbrecia that grows wild in Ireland. And but I think they're beautiful. All this greenery, it's Mombrecia, and of course there's the fuchsia. Now I don't know if you've ever been down to Tor Head and in that area, I'm sure you have, but if you go this time of year, there's miles and miles of fuchsia hedges. It's unbelievable. People don't believe me when I tell them about these hedges, and I have a video, in fact I'll send you the video I have, and people are just absolutely outstanding. No, but they can't believe that anything like that exists. Anyway, all the best. I hope this comes through okay. I hope it's not too long. Bye for now.